YouTube, what's up? Another gameplay. This is actually Mutt Head to Head. Sometimes when you get so ranked so high in salary cap, it takes minutes and 30 minutes to go ahead and get, get a game. So we're going to go ahead and play a little Mutt Head to Head. If you like any offense and defense that you see here, the link is below for Man Turf to make sure you cop that offense, the New Orleans Saints. Also, that defense is going to be the Detroit Lions playbook. And this is Mutt Head to Head. A lot of my players are a little just base elites because of salary cap. It's hard to keep, you know, the power up players and also play salary cap this year. So it's a little bit different. You see, first play, I don't know who this guy is, Super Shredder. So, uh, you know, Super Shredder was a goon back on this turtle. So he might be tough. First play, obviously, coming out and then split close. I'm in dollar. So we're going to have to fight. I have base elites on my D-line. Nothing crazy. I think it's uh, Fletcher Cox, Clowney, and um, Justin Houston. Here we go. This is a play that he's, he went to almost all game. It's the first time he hit me with it. It was just halfback wheel, but I was playing hard flats. And he was able to have enough time to hit the wheel route. And the deep blue went with the post. So that, I keep that in the back of my mind for the rest of the game. That's one play he kept looking at to get. And here he goes. He fires a pick. Sean Taylor. He tried to go to the deep end route in the back of the end zone with Sean Taylor. So right now I'm thinking, all right. This guy is nothing special, nothing crazy, nothing I haven't seen before. So we're gonna go first play. I'm gonna go ahead and go up top. Randy Ball, see I buy him. Go ahead and spin move, nice little spin. Sean Taylor, you know, hey, he's gonna rip the ball out, and that becomes a the theme of the game. And Ray Lewis picks it up, and so pretty much him firing a pick, he got it back from a fumble. The strips are a little wild this year, right now, especially if the computer's doing them for you. And here he goes running around with Matt oh, Carson Wentz. He has, which is you know the best quarterback in real life. Wouldn't say he's the best quarterback in Mutt because of Vic came out, but Carson Wentz is still very good. And here we go. He ran a little bench there. He gets sacked. We hold him to three after the fumble, so that's okay. We're going to get the ball back. We get the ball at half. Being down 3 nothing is no big deal. Right now while I'm playing this game, I really don't think much of this guy already, so I feel like I can, the longer the game is, the more I, I will uh, surpass him. And here we go, Vic. Looking at a wide open Vernon Davis, and he doesn't want to go catch the ball. That's okay. Because we got second down, second down here. That's a pretty good job. I'm going to run with Michael Vick, and it looks like Brandon Graham actually just, you know, shoestring tackles. And the quarterback tends to fumble on the shoestring tackles this year, early in the year. I hope it's something they fix because nobody should have caught Vick, let alone make him fumble right there. So that's tough. So that's two, about three plays and two fumbles. And the second play after the fumble, he takes it into the crib with Leonard Fournette on a stretch. Got beautiful blocking. Cam Chancellor actually got cut. That's why I have it on um, strong safety. He got cut, blocked, and Fournette was able to get to the touchdown. So, two fumbles. He's got 10 points. I'm still all right. It's a long game. It's still the first quarter. Just got to get a couple possessions back. That's all. I'm going to go Michael Vick again. Got to get down. You saw Brandon Graham was going for it again. That, that, that come from behind, strip sack. It will hit a little baby curl back on my one. No problems. I'm going to fall right on the ground. There's nothing I can do there. Dump it off here to Mr. Uh, Mr. Shady McCoy, and he's going to get cranked. I think that's by Ray Lewis. The hips are pretty extreme. Here you go. He pressed. He wanted to press, and we just got the diamond fully upgraded uh, Odell Beckham Jr. out wide right there. Able to burn him for a touchdown. So we get one of them touchdowns back. It's 10 to 7. Feeling all right. He's running the ball a little bit right there, and that, there he is. That's Daniel Hunter, actually, with a hit stick number 99. Here he goes, dumping it underneath. Sean Taylor coming up, and uh, Brandon. Er, Jimmy Graham like fell right there. In this play, he just threw right where I was running the route. And he threw it to me, and it turned into a touchdown. Like literally, I was running the route with his wide receiver, but he decided to throw it. Sometimes when you're lurking that player, you know you don't expect somebody to throw it right at you, but you're always looking at the other players to see where they're going to throw the ball and be ready to click on another player. But he threw right at my face right there, and he <laughs> then put his foot in the ground and went and got a touchdown. So. That's rough right now. We give up another easy score. So I'm back down 10 where I started last drive. So let's go ahead and get some yards here. He got crazy. Started manning everybody up. So we went up top to Moss. And Moss turned around. And got a little fluky. Looked like a little mini rocket catch there. Able to score a touchdown to Randy Moss. Always need a Randy Moss on your team. I don't care if it's the 83, the 85, the 87, the 92. Needs some version of Randy Moss. The, the height and speed is just unmatched by anybody else. Here he goes, firing in the flats. We need a pick there, but Chan oh, that Jalen Ramsey didn't want to go get it. Next play here, he goes again to that wheel route to the running back. But I blitzed that time, he was able to hit it. Runs here on third and one, gets the first down. I, I want to get the ball back before the half here. Running again. Good job by Cam Chancellor there, bam, bam. Going ahead and covering the flats there. Here he goes again, he rolls out looking for that wheel route, but too much pressure on Carson Wentz there. He was not able to hit it. 
Here goes, runs the screen, Champ Bailey, unblocked tackle, I'm gonna use my timeout, let's get the ball back boys, let's go make a play downfield, that's what it's about, 47 seconds, we got three timeouts, let's see what Tyree Go can do when he gets tackled by, I think there's Juice, Juice Check, he's able to make the play there, here we go, throwing it up top, Tyreek Hill, great play there. Get out of bounds. Still have two timeouts. All the time in the world. Time is not a, a problem right here. And I get sacked right That's a terrible play by me. Getting sacked. I have to use a timeout. 27 seconds left. I draw up another play. Get out of the pocket. Get some yards with Vic. Here we go. 22 seconds, two timeouts. Just a couple more dots I'll be able to get into uh, the red zone. He's running cover four here. And this is where I force a pass. Then it had a spacing right, allowed that cloud flat to go pick off that post route. If I was on a different hash, a different part of the field, it would be an easier pass. But that was forcing something. I could have got do a couple flat passes and got my field goal. But the second half kickoff, Tyreek Hill. We just find a little sliver, and that's all Tyreek Hill needs to go to the crib. It's just a small little sliver in between the defense. Great blocking by my guys. Nice little use of my turbo. I didn't hit the turbo there right until I got into the hole. So probably 40 yards down the field before I used the turbo button. That's what made it so so easy to move around with Tyreek Hill. It's hard to move when you're using the turbo. If I can give you one point of advice, don't use turbo as much. You'll be a better user, man. Here he goes again, looking for that wheel route, looking for that wheel route. Champ Bailey swats it. I, I feel like he could have jumped and picked that off. But, you know, that's asking a lot for Champ. But Champ costs a lot. He goes down underneath to the curl. Cam Chancellor again. No, no time for that. That's campaign Ch Cam Chancellor. He's punting the ball. Four-point lead, but now a fake punt. You know you're playing a bazooka when they fake punch you. Chris Harris, he don't have time for a fake punt, though. Picked it off. There we go. Now we got the ball. We're up four. What could go wrong? I don't know. We go here, hit Odell over the middle. He holds on to the ball, getting hit from Adrian Amos, but Odell holds on. That's the diamond fully upgraded Odell. Vic throws the ball into the stands. I appreciate it, Mike. Vic again going door underneath the Tyreek Hill and crack! Tyreek Hill fumbles the ball again. That's the third fumble of the game for me, but that's okay. I mean, at the end of the day, Tyreek Hill got his bell rung by Anthony Barr right there. So when you put, you know, little receivers on the field, obviously they're fast and they can run by everybody, but they're not the best ones to be spinning into linebackers with. And Tyreek Hill coughed it up there. So I'm still at four, though. I mean, he still needs a touchdown. I feel fine. He's really just. Taking what he can on the ground. You see Fournette, 11 carries. He's got 59 yards. Fletcher Cox fighting for me. Just try to give up no big plays. Here goes again, a little PA slide. Going up top. Jalen Ramsey's going to bag this right, but no, he, it's volleyball season for Jalen Ramsey. So, get to a fourth and three. Play a little man coverage. And this is T.O. just killed Chris Harris. That's, that's the uh, new T.O., I guess, the Hall of Fame T.O. I don't know what level it is, but he definitely just killed Chris Harris there in man coverage. Here he goes again. This time I man up the running back because I told you I remember that play. I remember the play. Manned up the running back and he got cooked on the wheel route. Next play, halfback power. He gets into the end zone. So now I'm down. After all this, all the drop picks, all the crazy plays, all the fumbles, I'm down three. It's a money drive time though. This is what I do. I'm supposed to be a professional man player. I'm a pro. Money drive is no big deal. I don't want him to touch the ball back. So I'm going to go ahead and just take what I got here. Go oh, here, get out of bounds, stay in bounds, hopefully. Take all these clocks to the two minute warning. Tyree kill right there, we got out of bounds there, so the clock will stop. So we're gonna draw Hill and McCoy, this will take it to the, I'm definitely on conservative now. Even though I wanna be able to spin and I wanna be able to make some moves. I don't wanna fumble and lose this game or fumble after three times already this game. Here I have two people open, but didn't make really good reads on this play. But I'm able to scream around with Vic and find Odell late. Throw it high, run some more clock, hit a draw. He gets a crazy shed right there. He's using his timeouts to try to get the ball back. I don't want him to get the ball back. I want to end the game right here with a touchdown. There we go again. He's played good defense. Only rushes three. I don't know why. They're, they're doing nothing pass rush wise. Get out of pocket with Vic. Got to get down. Like I said, I already fumbled three times. We can't make it four. We can't lose the game like that. Here we go. One throw the ball over here to Tyreek Hill. Can't hold on to a tough curl on third and four. I'm going to sell for field goal. Like I said, extend the game. I'm not playing a superstar man player. The longer the game goes, the more I have a chance to win. Here he goes with Pat Pete out the back of the end zone. Woo! Ooh, 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 that was a clutch tackle right there. I don't know who shed it right there, but it looked bad. It definitely looked bad. And here we go. This is the end of the end of the first half. Going to chuck it up. 
it to Julio, but you know, Patrick Peterson, the best corner in the game, isn't having that. He's going to return this, and I thought he was going to make a play, but he got his stick to the running back. So we're going to overtime. I'm playing Super Shredder, so I'm not really that afraid of him. I want the game to go as long as possible. I want to just extend the game, extend the game. Obviously, I won't win the toss, but if he does, I just got to make sure I don't give up a big run. That's the only way I'm going to lose the game if I give up a big run or a big play. So nothing too aggressive on defense, and I'll be all right. And obviously, I told you in a previous video, I have the Raiders jerseys because I think they look they look a little bit better than the Road Eagles jerseys. The Road Eagles jerseys are fairly boring, but these all-white Raiders jerseys are pretty cool, so that's why, pretty much why I'm rocking them. But you see, in Atlanta Stadium, they have kind of a, a pink tint to them because of the red lights. So look, maybe that's why they're playing so bad and they're coughing the ball up. They're wearing pink. But here we go. We're stopping the run. Like I said, if we stop the run, we'll be all right. And here we blitz the crib. This is exactly... Looking back on this game, that was just a terrible defensive call by me to be that aggressive. Give up a big play to, to the tight end. Got to slow down for net now. He definitely can't run in one now. There we go again. Actually, Melvin Ingram getting a strip animation there. I kind of need one of my fumbles back would be nice. This is looking bad. Bobby Wagner with the hit stick. He's at the 12-yard line, first and 10. Nothing. He rolls out left. He's got nothing there. Second and goal from the 10, from the 11. Oh, Fournette, boom. Patty Pete. Go ahead and puts him down. The seven yard line, he goes up back, and Telvin Smith picks it off. What a clutch play by Telvin Smith. He went for the PA slide, post around the back of the end zone. Great play by Telvin Smith. Now we just need a field goal. Vic just fighting for me. I'm on conservative. They didn't really let me slide on conservative. He will set up a big play here. We got beautiful pass protection. Lane Johnson on a Tyreek Hill gets to the sideline. And what? What? Another fumble? Thank the Lord it went out of bounds. So right now I'm tripping. I'm like, you know what? That, that just can't be. Did I change? Nope. I'm on conservative. Still fun, but I'm telling you, it's the pink glare from the red lights on these white jerseys. But I'm pretty much in, in uh, field goal range now. Feeling good. Nothing's really open here. Got to keep it safe. Throw the ball away. I'm going to try to pop a run here. And once I get this extra 10 yards, it feels good about my field goal. Feel perfect. I'm running again with McCoy. Make it even easier, really. I'm on conservative. Shouldn't fumble. So I'm going to go ahead and take this field goal. He calls timeout, which is the right thing to do. Now, there's a bunch of different ways you can avoid ice and, and all these things. But but for me, it's like, you know, pretty pretty much down the line somewhere, you're going to have to kick an ice field goal. And you might as well get used to it now. So I'm going to go ahead, knock this field goal through. Barely. It looked like it could have went right, but I knocked it through to win the game. It was a tough game. I had to fight three fumbles, drop picks. You know, he played a good game, he played smart, he ran the ball, kept it short. But like I said, this, this pink tint on my jerseys really did not do the right thing for me. Good game to Super Shredder. Like I said, if you like any of the offense, any of the defense, it didn't look amazing this game, but you can check out Man Turf. The link is below. A premium membership will give you everything throughout the whole year. I got tons more gameplay coming for you guys. I'm going to post the next gameplay when this one gets to 200 likes. I appreciate all y'all checking out the videos. And, you know, come through for even more. Nerds!